Steve Wiley work was played this morning by Ian Stewart and his quartet.
Colin Day. And Colin has something to shout about, something to sing about, because... The Galliards with their first broadcast of this gospel song. Scandalize my name. Well, I met my brother the other day. Give him my right hand. Just as soon as ever my back was turned, he scandalized my name. Do you call out a brother? No, no. Call out a brother? No, no. Do you call out a brother? Soon as ever my back was turned, she took and scandalized my name. Do you call out a sister? No, no. Call out a sister? No, no. Do you call out a sister? Oh, no. Scandalize my name. Well, I met my preacher the other day. Gave him my right hand. He took and scandalized my name. Do you call that religion? No, no. Call that religion? No, no. Do you call that religion? Oh, no. Scandalize my name. Do you call that religion? Oh, no. Call that religion? No, no. Do you call that religion? And what a lovely arrangement by Leon Russellson, one of the Galliards. And now our final request record. And we're going to play it particularly for people in hospital. First staff and then patients. In the X-ray department of Alder Hay Children's Hospital, um, the girls always listen to Saturday Club. They've asked for this particular record three times. They hope they're going to be lucky. You are. We're going to play Danny Williams' Moon River. But we're also playing it for all the patients in Pasteur Ward, at uh, Clare Hall Hospital, South Mims, at the request of Margaret and Eileen, who say they're the best crowd anyone could have with them in hospital. Here's Danny, Moon River.
given up which they'd won. But let's not imply that Leicester didn't deserve to win. Brian James describes just how they did it from the ground at White Hart Lane. Well, despite what you and I might remember about last season's cup final, Eamon, Leicester seemed to hold some sort of jinx on Spurs. Last year, you remember, they ended Spurs' unbeaten home run, and today they did it again. And although Spurs shot away to score a magnificent goal at the start, Blanchley held off three defenders, three defenders to make the chance for White, I somehow felt that the Leicester win always looked inevitable. Tottenham just weren't clicking. They had the most appalling trouble in playing the ball up out of defence, and if Blanchflower and Markai provided the cleverer touches, it was Leicester's wing halves, McClintock and Keyworth, who took my eye for sheer grafting intelligence. Leicester also raided well on the wings, but Tottenham seemed to use the flanks as a sort of left luggage office, you know, somewhere to keep the ball while they sorted themselves out in the middle. With Leicester so neat and nimble, dashing smoothly away with the game, it wasn't really a surprise when they equalised through Keyworth, although it was a surprise to see Tottenham standing watching him score. The best shot of the game brought Appleton's goal in the second half. It provoked Spurs into a tremendous siege of the Leicester goal, which lasted till the end, but they just couldn't scramble the ball over the line. No, this just wasn't their day. Well, now we're just having a little bit of trouble this Saturday. I just want to check if Wolverhampton are hearing us. I believe not. Simon Smith, are you hearing us at Wolverhampton? All right, so we'll move. arrived complete with her sarong for a film with hope and crosby about a journey to hong kong they can make a motion picture on the road to anywhere but they had to turn in the idea of making road to the moon because they found out the russians are already halfway there <laughs> and britain may be trying in a year or two well it says so in the paper so it must be But you can't jump your papa up in Massachusetts And then get dressed and go out for a walk No, you can't jump your papa up in Massachusetts Massachusetts is a far cry from New York
Good evening, everyone. This week, I've chosen two Ray Noble melodies, The Very Thought of You and Cherokee. You'll uh, have already heard a brief portion of the first tune. It's the signature tune of my friend and fellow Yorkshireman, Ken McIntosh, who's already entertained you a few minutes ago with his brilliant saxophone technique.
saying good night from us here. But don't forget, you can have your holiday every week if you join us at the same time when there'll be another star-studded edition of Blackpool Night. <laughs>
drowned in the deep blue sea. Oh, Willie was the roving kind, so tall and passing fair. From Mandalay to Frisco Bay, they knew him everywhere. In Belgium, women worshipped him, and it was said that he kissed everyone but cared for none. He loved the deep blue sea. It. 
If I did some wondering of my own, wondering eyes, you got beautiful eyes, but they're untrue. I guess you've got me hypnotized much more than I realize, cause I. believe for every drop of rain that falls, a flower grows. I believe that somewhere in the darkest night, a candle glows. I believe for everyone who goes astray, someone will
beneath the moonlight Just the monkeys and the palm trees In the middle of an island Plenty time to do some kissing Plenty time for lots of loving A walking barefoot in the sand Though there's no island at all Just a picture on my wall My darling, how I wish we could be In the middle of an island In the middle of an ocean You and I forever, darling In the paradise for two